One of the common complaints that I receive from readers is about broadband and specifically broadband going too slow or not working at all. This week Richard Waters has contacted me with his broadband issue and his issue is that his broadband is intermittent and he tells me it happens on an almost daily basis where it works one minute but not the next. Now he's approached his supplier BT, he's told them of the problem and they've come back and given him what I call the terms and conditions fob off which is, sorry Richard, our terms and conditions say that you will not get a continuous service all the time, therefore we're not liable if it goes down from time to time. Case closed. Richard now asks me, is that right? Is there anything else that he can do? Now of course, it's not right, and there is something else Richard can do, because even though those terms and conditions say that, it doesn't mean they can stretch them so far to say that even if it's going off on a daily basis or even every other day or every week, that it still falls within the, sorry, we won't give you a continued service. Because those words in, that, in those terms and conditions mean that from time to time, the broadband may not work. It doesn't mean that it will not work on a regular basis. Here, we've got a regular common theme of Richard's broadband not working. Therefore, it falls well outside of the terms. And what that means is there's a breach of contract. Now, I pause there for a moment because the regulator, Ofcom, implemented a voluntary code, the 2022 Ofcom voluntary code. It's now been updated, but for Richard's case, that's the version that is in play. And BT is subscribed to that voluntary code. And if you have a similar issue and you want to know if your provider is subscribed, just go onto the Ofcom website. You'll see there's a list of who's subscribed. Many are, some are not. Uh, but where they are subscribed, it clearly says, if you are not providing the correct speed, if there are other issues with broadband, such as what Richard is experiencing, you have to let your customer either break the contract for free, and therefore switch provider, or give them a reduced rate for your service, i.e. charge them less, and give them some form of a refund for the period of time the service has not been up to scratch. So that's what I've told Richard to do here, that's what he needs to do next. Hopefully that will solve the problem. If it doesn't, then communications is one of those sectors where we have mandatory alternative dispute resolution, ADR. That means that every communications provider, every broadband provider must be subscribed to an ADR scheme. BT are subscribed to the communications um, ombudsman. So that's where Richard will go. I've told him, get a log, put a diary together showing how many times a day or how many times a week the broadband has stopped working, that will clearly demonstrate the pattern. And armed with that, and armed with copies of all of the communications that he's had with his provider, go to the communications ombudsman, file a claim, and if it's exactly as Richard's told me, I think that claim will be successful.